Okay, in this lesson, <clears throat> I want to explain how to pleat your pattern with pleats tools. Okay, for example, create a pattern here. Oh, it's very small. Create a pattern here. Yeah. And we want to go into the if you cannot select it, go into the select and move, <clears throat> make it a bigger, a higher, and then go in here and I want to pleat this part of this pattern to the this pattern and make this pattern pleats for. <clears throat> okay. First, uh, I have to, we have to, make this create an internal line of this pattern to place it so as you learned before you can go to the edit and select this part hold and shift to select this part and you have to create <coughs> internal line in between right click and offset as internal line along the curve and you can specify any number that you want but i want to prefer eight number to better Plated. and as you can see this is one segment here and this internal line does not cut it and it's very important that we have to cut it right click and as you learned before you have to trim and add a point to the outline and what happened as you can see we have a separate segment here these segments separate this long segment into pieces okay now we have to uh, use the pleat tool it's very easy going to the pleats fold it's folding this uh line as you learned before it's automatic fold you have to define the direction of the pleats and the <clears throat> pattern that you want to pleat click inside and another double click to define it as you can see we have an arrow that okay it tells you pleats this internal line inside this pattern and as you can see it's a graphically tell you which kind of pleats do you for knife pleats box pleats accordion pleats any shape that you want reverse direction as you can see it's very easy the red ones are going out the blue ones going inside in any fold angle that you want you learn for angle here don't change it this 0 to 360 is nice and hit OK. You can assign any direction of angle that you want. And it's done. It's split now. And if you go into sitting or right click to simulation properties, here we have a gravity. Make it a zero to better sync the plates. And as you can see, this is our police. It's automatically police dangle for you. Nice. Right click and simulation. Bring it back. Negative 9800. It's a default number. And it's fold. <clears throat> Ctrl Z. And now we have to swing this part to the this part. And we have to use a special swing, plate swing. It's very easy. Select the first part. Then you have to hit enter, don't forget. And then you can define the second part. And then click. And as you can see, automatically swing this for you. And for simulating, I prefer to freeze it to maintain its position and simulate. Click and drag to better simulation. And as you can see, this is our pleats. Interesting. Nice. If you want it, you can uh, use the fitting accurate tools to better simulating. And nice. As you can see, we have better simulation. Click and drag the pattern to make it and if you have a such a, such a just these problems ctrl z you can go here select it and as i said before um, 
give a longer number to particle distance to better simulate it. Use fitting accurate to this part and nice. We have a slow simulation, but better. That's it. That's the pleats, and you can pleat your pattern in this way. Going back to the normal. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.